हेलो एवरी वन नमस्ते वेलकम टू डू फॉर बिगिनर्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंसिडर डेमोस्ट्रेट वन मोर यूज केस इन रिकनसिलेशन दैट हाउ यू कैन मैनेज एंड रिकनसाइल योर क्रेडिट कार्ड पेमेंट्स सो यूज केस इज दैट दैट वी आर मोस्टली मेकिंग ऑल ओवर पेमेंट्स थ्रू द क्रेडिट कार्ड एट द एंड ऑफ मंथ वी आर गेटिंग दैट क्रेडिट कार्ड स्टेटमेंट दैट समराइज ऑल ओवर एक्सपेंसिस सो अवर बैंक वी आर डूइंग द पेमेंट्स फ्रॉम अवर बैंक टू अवर क्रेडिट कार्ड so this looks like very simple but how we can manage with that to do standard we will check on there so now that i have already created one company fresh database so here you can see those all entries particularly with 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 accurate okay step number 1 that we are just going to create a journal which is my credit card because we are doing the payments from the credit card so here i am giving them name as a credit card okay so this is my step number 1 I'm selecting that type as a credit card. I'm just going to save it. So based on that save, the credit card account will be already created. Now in the outgoing payments, currently you can see that no any account is there. Here now we can configure this account based on the needs. If we want to reconcile this payment against that credit card statement, then here we have to create one more account, which is outstanding account that will park that value. Okay. So I'm creating an edit. i'm putting any random name for now this is my current assets okay so your current asset is there and i'll save it if we will keep this account as credit card then no reconciliation with our credit card statement and this payment will be automatically paid but currently i am using that case so it will be more clear for you guys also okay now this journal is created that outstanding payment account is also created Now step number two that I am creating the vendor bill. But before that, let's check the journal ledger. So if I will check the journal ledger, where is my where is my journal ledger? Here you can see that no any entry is here. So I am punch one bill that my vendor is this vendor. Let's selecting any my random products and that price is two thousand. Okay. Now this is the thing. we are punching with today's date confirming and making the payment so if i am making the payments it's a bing and i'm just credit card this is the thing that we are making the payments from credit card and we are just going to create payment so here you can see that currently it's in payment why because we have mentioned that value will be part to my outstanding payment and if we will check the reporting so this amount will not be in credit card it will be on my credit outstanding account okay so let me duplicate this and i will check the reporting so in the reporting it's my general ledger so here you can see that that value is park in my outstanding account now this is the thing now step number next step is that we are doing reconciliation of this payment against my credit card statement so okay so i am again okay. now i am on my dashboard here this is credit card so now think is that we are going to create the transactions i allow that can man view and so here my vendor is let me check the vendor well it's this vendor so here we are payments this vendor okay that payment is of 2000 so it's a minus 2000 payment okay and we are just making the add in close okay so now think is that we are making this reconciliations and validate so think Yeah, it's validated. Now we will check my reporting in the general ledger. So here yeah, you can see that it's nullified, and now in the credit card you can see that amount. Okay. Now what happens at the end of month? We are receiving, we are getting that statement that based on that we are making the payments from our bank. Okay. So now let's jump to the dashboard, and in the dashboard you can see that there is no any amount in the bank itself. so now think is that we are making one transactions from our bank okay that we are making the payment from our bank to credit card okay so now the amount is minus 2000 it's a bank to credit card okay and just add and close now here if i will do that okay and if here you can see that see already the reconciliation model of internal transfer So this is the new functionality in Udo 18. I will click on that, and if I will validate, so this value is parked into the liquidity transfer. Currently, this amount is reduced from our bank, but still not add in that credit card. So let's check the reporting again. 
so it will be more clear in the reporting in the general ledger here you can see that in the bank it's a minus 2000 but in the credit card it's still remaining pending okay so what happens for that we are just going to create one more reconciliation in our credit card account that we are getting the payment so what i am going to do this is the my new this is my 2000 as we are receiving the payments from our bank payment from bank okay so i'm just going to add and close payment from bank and i'm just clicking on the internal transfer here you can see that liquidity transfer is here in that also you can want to add payments from bank you can add it okay now here i'm doing that and validate now let's check the general ledger and let's check the balance so it will be more clear for everyone to see those all transactions so now here you can see that already automatic detected minus 2000 in the credit card now you can see that the balance is zero i can see those things in the balance sheets also so let me go to the balance sheet and the balance sheet this is my bank and cash with them 2000 so this is the way that how we can manage that credit card payments and the reconcile them payment is here but the configuration of that credit card journal is important if we want to reconcile with that credit card statement then we have to make it as an outstanding payments but we don't want to reconcile it with that credit card statement then we can make it as a credit card so it will be directly into the page you can do this case in your database and let me know if you are stuck with that we are here to support you thank you everyone